Good evening. Firstly, people keep asking me, hey, Roger, what's behind that green screen of yours? So tonight you get an exceptional peek, but just this time, perhaps. In any event, what I wanted to talk to you about this evening is the announcement by the Resolution Foundation, very respectable charitable think tank here in the UK, that uh, our new Prime Minister's plans, as were foreshadowed by some of the things she said before she was elected, to alleviate the crushing cost of living crisis uh, by raising taxes, uh, taxes and uh, reducing um, uh, other things and putting caps on the prices that large energy giants can charge for their uh, services and products. Um, actually is going to benefit rich people by almost double, the Resolution Foundation says, than poor people. Uh, the figures are that the aid that Liz Truss is bringing is worth uh, £4,700 to wealthier uh, Britons and £2,200 only to uh, the poorer and poorest people. Uh, I know that it's frequently said that we're targeted relief uh, to be offered, then the administrative costs of that would wipe out a huge amount of the money being doled out. And yeah, that makes sense, of course. But uh, tax cuts, I've been saying for a very long time, how are tax cuts uh, on income and how are VAT, value added tax cuts on purchases going to benefit people who don't have much income and who are, you know, trying to decide whether it's eating or heating, as the newspapers say in the, in the current climate, for millions of people. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, Liz was uh, completely against what she called handouts, and of course now she is kind of giving handouts through uh, putting a cap on what can be charged for electricity and gas, but um, that ignores business to begin with. And secondly, uh, as the Resolution Foundation points out, it really doesn't help people as it should. Isn't that ridiculous that somebody who doesn't need the money gets almost 5,000 pounds, while somebody who has to choose between eating and heating gets a little over 2,000? It's, it's just absurd, it's just absurd. And I'm sorry to be critical uh, in the slightest of our brand new government, and particularly at a very sad time like this when we're in mourning uh, for the Queen, but I do have to make that comment, and the Resolution Foundation is very respectable, and they preceded me, so I feel I have a license to say a few words. I think it's just ridiculous. Number two, as I've also been banging on about for some time, the 150 billion pound package, uh, which is the cost of all of this stuff, uh, includes paying prices for electricity to the electricity generators, which are pegged, which are tied to the price of gas. Whereas actually 80% of our electricity does not come from the international markets for gas off which the prices are based. So some well more than 60 billion pounds of that 150 billion, say organizations like UK Electricity Watch, need not be paid, or at least not in full. The prices could be reduced, um, and that could certainly benefit, well, I guess it would benefit the richer more again than the poorer, but at least the poorer would get more money. I leave you with that thought and wish you a good evening.